to uh, uh, his saint. Okay. And I'm like, you know, it kind of came in here, but you know, they were they started it. Okay. And then well, Chase yeah. Chase talked about blaspheming. Fi is trying to hide amongst the the rabble in the back. <laughs> Got it. So uh, Fi is not giving any negatives. Chase and uh, Elden are. Minus four, and then Lan, Icon, Iggy can all aid uh, Ventaran's diplomacy check. Okay. Uh, Icon auto eight. aids, so the minus four becomes a minus two. Okay, Iggy's aid. Not to you you don't his, want aid is, is a zero, and then Lan. You don't. You don't want Lan to do this. <laughs> you're here. You're here, and you're doing stuff. Let me see. All right. Minus two it is. <laughs> um, crap. Twitch just stopped working again. Minus two, please. Not twenty. Hey. It's so you're at a plus two, Ventarin. Surrounded by assholes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Ventarin is going to spend a mythic point. Because, yes. 56. Where are the inevitables? Those beings that mistreat the people of this world have been sent back to their plane. They are misguided in their task. They are not helping against the demons, only hurting that of humanity. You, brother, is this true? I saw them. They are in pieces. They're destroyed. This is this guy talking. <sighs> There's gasps among the hall. Quiet! Quiet! One of the priests is trying to get them to not panic. Uh, you do see about half of them, like, inching towards the door. Hold your ranks! The bugs that attack at night... We know where they spawn from. We came for help earlier. Many of you witnessed this. The inevitables do not seek to bring safety to this place. Only use the threat to wield over your heads like a hammer. It is time for justice. For what crimes do you speak, Sovereign Born? Says one of the priests. He comes forward. Bravely, within striking range. I mean, of you to him. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think you're worried about his, his heavy mace. <laughs> uh, let me zoom in here. <laughs> the torture of innocence, the destruction of the ways of these people, the destruction of your own uniqueness, and the cowardice in front of a foe that is clearly defined. We were following the teachings. We were summoning those beings to help us. Help ourselves. Help yourselves, indeed. They were not helping. They were inspiring cowardice and merely grasping at control. The guy almost wants to glance over at, like, to see how everyone else is reacting, but he, he slowly nods with a, with a heavy swallow. <laughs> Nervous. Uh, yes. Are you taking them prisoner? No. They are important they are to con they are to control this place they are to lead you they are to do their duty in front of the gods those creatures uh, oh he doesn't call them creatures the inevitables we need them when the demons attack those demons can be destroyed there is more than enough muscle here to do it. And we know from where they spawn. That's true. They can be stopped. 
we've already destroyed one of the pods. Only four remain. With a little rest, we can destroy them tomorrow morning. We'll you will them destroy off. them. He he nods like he's fine with that. That is the plan. And These are trying them. times. It is easy to inspire fear. But you should not let this fear make you take arms against one another to harm one another. It is the sacrifice we make to make a perfect society, he says. Societies are not perfect. We are all flawed beings. He nods like that. That's not something he's going to disagree with. It is through our faith, however, that we will aspire to achieve perfection. He looks nervous that he's trying. To... He's hoping that his words are not contradicting yours. <laughs> <laughs> the there is a, a, achieving perfection is an admirable goal. Forcing it upon others for their minor imperfections is a dangerous and tyrannical path. It is the imperfections of men that have allowed the demon scourge to happen. And it is the imperfections of men that have allowed the breach of our great ward the demon scourge was not the responsibility of men. It is the failure of the sovereign. His eyes grow wide like he wasn't going to say that. <laughs> he doesn't disagree with you. <laughs> he says it loudly. He wants everybody to hear that. Yep. What of them, our new converts? The guilty. What is their crime? It varies. He looks nervous. In the eyes of men, are they crimes? He doesn't want to piss you off anymore. He says, they have served their... They have been properly punished for their crimes. You notice there's like a slight grumbling protest from the mob behind him. He's court. <laughs> <laughs> they are free to go. For those that do not wish to be part of this temple and our religion, I suggest you go with them. You have enough priests to heal your leaders? Yes, if they still live. Unfortunately, several of the darker ones downstairs did not survive. Apologies. Okay. He doesn't like that, um, but he doesn't feel he's in a position to do anything about it. We will return on the morrow to discuss properly with Xenophon. What of this evening? Oh, you're going to return in the morning. Uh, the yeah. fight happened. Okay. Yeah, the fight happened. Like, we, we used the... Not only did we sneak in the back, we sneak in, snuck in the back while demons were attacking. Yeah. <laughs> we're not the best. <laughs> they do uh. not like you. Yeah, well, Icon whispers to you. Remember, we came here to seek out an item to restore sight, dear Ashnil. We are not going to rob. Icon looks disappointed. Bentarin. Bentarin, this is a time of war. 
We do you really saying need this? to take Elden? I'm only speaking to him. Okay. This is a time of war. We should obtain we should obtain the item that we need now. So that they do not have a powerful vice for us tomorrow. If we want this You are my sovereign. If if we want this and you are my commander. If we want this temple to be... <laughs> Here's your mission, son. Uh... <laughs> if we want this temple to be stable, then we need them dealing with us on an even field. We will return on the morrow. To discuss... Fi can see Chase. Chase is mad. Oh, letting these guys off too easy. These guys need punishment. Yeah. yeah. Chase. <laughs> no, he's he's just whispering to himself, and Fi is 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 next right to him. There. So yeah. Fi's going to start tootling through. Doo, doo, doo. Oh look, our dog! <laughs> yeah, Beauregard has got his his head bowed before the uh, before the saint of uh, of crusades. Yes, I shall do better next time. I do hope and I pray that Ilden is with me for some time. How I believe detect magic will give me a sense of the cash level of that suggestion. My arcane sight, I think, is a minute per level. Or is it ten minutes? Yeah, we said ten minutes that went by down town. Downstairs. Yeah, no, it's yeah, the arcane sight. Arcane sight's out, so I'm using detect magic. Okay. Um. So it's a. It's it's based on spell faint, level, so yeah, it's, it's a, just faint. faint. Uh, okay. Um. Bai is gonna. Smack a dispelly bomb off of the back of Borgard's head. <laughs> You're disturbing my prayers. Wow. <laughs> oh. give, give me Don't. a uh, dispel check Don't against me. the. No. No. no? Less you, than you... 10. No, okay. Um, uh, I've got one more bomb today. He, he turns hard, back. To, he hard. looks at you. He blinks. And he turns back to his prayers. He actually blinks a few uh, a few feet over <laughs> and, and continues his prayers. Uh, hmm. <sighs> okay. Uh, he's going to do it again. Okay. <laughs> Spelling bomb rips off. You twenty-five. That is enough prayer for today. Is what he says. He he sits up and clips oh. clips next to you, kind of half uh, half phasing, half uh, half not, and then Welcome and then back. he then he blinks all the way to where uh, towards Elden is. We're making oh. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Fi. He's not a puppy. You know he's not a. He's he a very. He doesn't act like one. No. He is well. He's like a puppy, but he's got a stick up his ass. <laughs> <laughs> his ears perk up. <laughs> it's like he's an old dog. Yes. Old Frankie. dogs need loving too. Hmm. Maybe we Maybe. should get Chase to give him some secret pets. That'll make him feel better. Princess <laughs> <laughs> Nina is full of good, good, yeah, um... it's good, good wholesome advice. <laughs> exactly. Okay. Uh, uh, Chase is still just in the shadows, just. Bastard. Like, like I mean, like he's seething, not scheming, seething. 
He looks up at you, gives you this this dirty grin, like he's I don't know. Now scheming. <laughs> now, now the scheming begins. <laughs> uh, you know what? He's going to turn and visit. Then we shall continue our discussion tomorrow. And I shall be at Xenophon's side. Only these people are allowed to leave, is what he says. He says it half command to, to, to those behind him, and half as a negotiation. Like, he's not allowing people from the rest of the neighborhood to leave. If you have issue with this Ventaran Sovereign Born, you can speak to Xenophon in the morrow. Issue I have, but it will be dealt with on the morrow, with cooler heads. Very well. Part ways! Let no violence be brought to these people on their way out. Know that if you leave, you are not welcome back to this, to this neighborhood. Oh, uh, we're going to pull out the demon, the pig demon. <laughs> Elden pulls out the, the pig demon. I was like, well, we didn't take care of this before. <laughs> Tomorrow. All right. Okay. I see Elden pulled fumbling with his bag. No, 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 tomorrow. Do you recall a will save that I had Elden make a long time ago when he first picked up the pig demon? And then he failed that will save? Yeah. Okay. Uh, you... Did I fail? Yeah. I... Yeah. Okay. I, I um, don't remember Elden, the... you don't want to get rid of the toy. I like it. Yeah. So you don't try to bring it... Bring no, you, it you, bring it, you bring it up, but, but you realize as you're kind of sticking it back into the bag, you're like... Nah, maybe you could just stay in your bag. I can take care of it. Who better to deal with this demon and make sure no evil comes to claim it than me? I'm its rifle keeper. This is internal monologue, right? Yeah. <laughs> He's just not yep. like going all Macbeth just in the corner over there. <laughs> Elden, what are you doing? <laughs> no, he's just rifling through his equipment. You guys have gone through a battle. It doesn't look suspicious at this point. Okay. Um, I did not realize I have no internal monologue. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, the the seas of converted and priests of Saint Cuthbert and other saints um, part ways. You do see that there are a couple of people that decide to stay. Okay. We thank you. But uh, we have family here in the in in the neighborhood. A couple of the children stay because their parents do. A few of the others, however, that were looking for mom, apparently come with Ventarin as mom isn't here. It's mom Tarin. <laughs> and the majority of them are uh, are coming with. Okay. Uh, for a total of 12. All right. Yay, Mel's defeat. Da, da, da. Well, you can send them back to Defender's Heart. Um, yeah. Yeah, they were going to send them back to Defender's Heart. Those that, uh, uh, well, depending on how the talk goes tomorrow, we might, you know. Okay. Uh, Fi is going to... Out of my way, lady. Okay. <laughs> Chase disappears into the crowd. He's going to make a stealth check. You can make perception checks if you'd like. Yep. He's going to go downstairs and loot a little bit. That's my boy. <laughs> yeah, I'll pick up maybe the Zillicut sword or something like that. Just the stuff lying around. Oh, no, we uh, grabbed that sword. That sword was grabbed. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. Well, he's going to go look around. Uh, uh, there... uh, 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 yeah, I was saying that sword stayed because uh, Ventana wanted to use it to prove that the Zillicut was dead. Oh, got it. You still have it? Yeah. Uh, Chase got a 37 on his stealth. Okay. Um, I can see you. 20. Shit! What's the range of Ventarin's uh, blindsight? 
Uh, Ventarin, 20 feet. 20 feet? Okay, so you, you did notice Chase kind of just going to the back. You can make a sense motive. All right. Versus his bluff. Ventarin will sense the motive. 32 on the bluff. 21. All right, it's just Chase flying around, and you kind of lost track of him, and then you didn't see him like sneaking away. Are you leaving the bodies of uh, or the the yeah. knocked out uh, Lexos, Xenophon, and Dane? You're not taking anything off of them. Nope. Okay. You you lead a very large procession of people. Um, the priests come walking out ahead of you. They tell crowds outside that have assembled. You could see people like cleaning up after the battle with the demons, like they they already had their tasks assigned to them. Them mm-hmm. sweeping up like like wasp carcasses and and carrying away the big ones um they all part as your group walks out there are gasps let no harm come of these folk they are free to leave the priest turns to you i suggest you leave the neighborhood until tomorrow good evening he nods to you and then and farewell to you, sir. <laughs> and then walks back inside. This this yep. lower priest that had the wisdom to just let the killers go. Just let them go. <laughs> We're going out the front door. We came in the side door in the back, right to the basement. Okay. Um as you guys are about halfway to the uh uh halfway to I guess the yeah. The tavern? Yeah, yeah. the tavern is really where... Chase is, is going to come flying back. Um, he's going to try to hide and sort of mingle within the crowd. Okay. Have another chance. Have a chance. A petit chance, oui. C'est une chance. 19. That's not going to do nothing. Okay. Chase was just riding at the back of the column. All right. All right. I'm gonna go chase. <laughs> we'll uh, see. What, we'll see what he grabbed later. You stole all the holiest of artifacts. It's a big frying pan. And a few hours later, you guys are yeah, maybe about an hour later, you lead this this congregation of people back to the um, uh, to the inn. Let me. Or back to the tavern. What was it called? The. The drunken gnome. Something like that. There was a drunk gnome there. I don't know if it was called a gnome, though. Here. One second. Journal. What's the problem with... Drunk. Uh, Drunken monk. Drunken monk. Okay. You return to the drunken monk. Uh, They make room for these new people. In fact, there's enough space at the tables. Maybe not for, like, sleeping. You might want to not do this long term. Um... But I guess you guys sleep late into the next morning to recover spells and to recover yeah. abilities. Yeah. I'm going to take a glance at XP because I don't think we did a lot of the XP for uh, last game. No, we don't Because I don't actually don't know how far you guys are away from your level. And I'm just going to take a glance. We beat so much ass. I think we're very close. Robo ass for days. <laughs> yeah. Three days worth <laughs> of robots. <laughs> so I did give you some XP for whip ponies, but it doesn't look like it was the full um, fights worth of XP. I think so. it was the um, we had a fight earlier that day. Yep. So I don't think it was that room. All right. So I'm gonna go um, down to the basement just to tally up some of the XP. If you could help me collect things in in clumps okay. on the basement level, that would be really helpful. All right, unique humanoids over there, and whippy ponies. Over Dead here. humanoids over there. <laughs> We're just going to use the term defeated. Yes, yeah, psycho. Oh, I figured out how much XP already. I kind of tallied it. Um, I'm going to give you twelve. 
low CRs for saving those people. Um, the Zelikut, the Inevitables, yeah. The Monk, the High Level Fighter, the Low Level Fighter. And then the... If you just want to say Mythic Tier, I'm cool with that. No, no. <laughs> 15,000? Wow. It's a huge amount. Um... Let me have a look here. This is on nine thirteen. What would the name of tonight be? XP. <laughs> um, no, it would be like. Um... Oh, something about diplomacy. Um... Agree to disagree. <laughs> we are the law. We are the law. <laughs> uh, sword point diplomacy. <laughs> Diplomacy at the tip of a sword. <laughs> tip of the sword. Alright, that puts you at 76,000. Because there might be leveling up uh, that evening, because you train at odds. Um, mm -hmm. Is it trained uh, to go up odds? Odd. Oh, this is the odd. Oh. This is odd, so we can't. We just jumped last level, so we can't do that now. Let's see if you have enough. No, you need 79.5, and you've got 76.6. No! It's close. What more do we have to do? The demons. <laughs> the demons inside. That's what it's going to be called. Because the demons inside of us, of the temple, of the good guys in the temple, the inexcess song, of the and demons devil in... inside, and devil inside. Every you single one of us is the devil word inside. demon for. In a game called Demon Watch, in a place where there's the abyss around us, we need to shoot very <laughs> sprinkle dinkle demon in there. Right. Okay. Uh, you guys rest uneventfully for the remainder of that evening recovering your spells and powers by morning that's a huge thing yes chase does um show phi some things and i guess oh. there's an opportunity for phi to have a look at uh any of the magic that the party captured i didn't hear phi i got a big sword yeah, this is the Zelikut sword. No, the um, the Koliarut sword. The Golden Man sword. Golden Man's bastard sword. The sword of the Golden oh, Man. I hate those things. It was shooting innervations. Oh, the innervation goes away, right? Yep. That one's it's just a time thing. Yep. It's just the spell. Stupid. <laughs> uh. Oh, the Golden Man Sword is just a plus two bastard sword. Okay. Uh, we'll see how the discussions go tomorrow, and if they go not terribly, or if they go completely terribly, I will just use it if not then you know what i mean like if... we'll say it's a bastard sword um and it sheds uh golden light um move action no aos to activate cool and it is in the party loot uh and chase recovered something mm-hmm Thank <laughs> you. 
<laughs> Foxfire's got some ideas on how to handle the situation. It's not, not necessarily a bad tactic. You over there. You over there. You're not allowed to talk to him. Um... <laughs> What did Chase find or steal? Yeah. <laughs> Tin of beans? No. Chase stole. A beautiful white polished stick. Oh. It's about five feet long. Oh, I know what that does. That's a staff, staff of, heal? of either heal or life, but right. either way. Uh, do you want to look at this for me? I got something for you to see. All right. Good boy. Good boy. It was uh, kind of just lying around. I spotted it last time. Uh, I got a little bit zapped, but don't tell us inventory. It was trapped. Hmm. Kind of managed to roll out most of the way, but yeah. He came back with 30 damage. Ooh. I don't know, if I get an icon to ask, if I ask icon to heal me, then Victorin's going to notice, and then... 28 on the uh, spellcraft check. And then... You can keep a secret, right? Oh, yes. Uh, <laughs> this was at night still? Yep. What is it? <laughs> uh, I think I know what it is. I think it's a good, right? Don't tell Vintar. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I think this thing's worth about... I don't know. It's worth someone's life. Yeah, like a hundred million copper coins. No, ten million. <laughs> so uh, Phi is going to start making some extracts to uh, cure light wounds. <laughs> ah. <laughs> you don't think uh, they'll miss it, do they? Like no one important died. This will be very interesting. Uh, th that's not a character. That's just, yeah. that's in that's just that's the internal. Hmm. You don't think this is going to cause a problem with the negotiation tomorrow, what right? What is it? What is it? No, no, no. They <sighs> never they didn't notice it's gone. Not unless they go down there. And Dude Pants probably got lots of uh, lots of things to kind of worry about. <laughs> Let's see, how about we make the resurrection pact? If I die, you use the thing on me. If you die, I save it for later. I mean, use the thing on you. If I offers a finger to shake. Oh, yeah. Okay, he sticks your finger in his mouth. <laughs> we'll shake. <laughs> it's a little bit awkward. <laughs> Elden walks in like oh, <laughs> Okay, Elden walked outside. Nothing. And you can see do you have a bag of holding or an extra dimensional space yep. or some... yeah. Okay, Elden, give me a per uh, a, a perception check versus uh, Fi's stealth. Okay. As Fi's obviously putting something in, away in in a bag and you might have caught a glimpse of it. As he walked outside. Twenty-three. Yeah, you, you, you caught a glimpse of something that looked like a staff, or maybe a, a 
a haft of a a spear. He's tucking it away. Spoils of war. Nothing. Spoils of war. Hmm. I has a bluff of zero, so yeah, sure. <laughs> Yeah, go ahead and give me a bluff versus a sense motive. Seven. Aw. <laughs> oh. Only talking to me? <laughs> oh, did you look at that? I did not put any points into that. Yeah, you still have wisdom, though. He's a, mon or he's a, new, he's a new age paladin. Oh, is this Elden coming outside or, or, if, or, or land? Oh, Elden came outside. Nope. <laughs> Oh. Look at that. <laughs> All right. Well, Elden geez. did say go and take what we need because we're in war. He <laughs> that's what he said in the in the in the in the temple. Yep. It's like good. You got something. Good. <laughs> Chase doesn't cause any trouble that evening. Any observable trouble? Any observable trouble? Yep. You do see him sitting on on a high shelf, sort of eyeing Iggy for the evening, though, which seems kind of normal. <laughs> Ventarden thinks to himself, perhaps time in the lawful temple was good for the little dragonling. Maybe he <laughs> will learn his way. Eventually, he said, "I should tie him up there." <laughs> Eventually, he settles <laughs> into a little nap. Um, uh, atop the high bookshelf. Ventarin is checking his boots for poop. Like, he's... <laughs> he's... <laughs> no scorpions, no poop. <laughs> no scorpions, no poop. Uh, Iggy's very apologetic of the master. Uh, like, he... He, he kind of gets the sense that he did something wrong. <laughs> Master, uh, Pi finds the softest thing he can for his whipping, like the, like a feather or a. Oh no, no, Master, this will not do. Unless uh, you have magic that will tickle Iggy for a long time, and then he will suffer greatly for loss of sleep and eating. A piece of velvety cloth. Oh, Master, do not worry. I will craft my own cat o' nine tails. Nine is a little much. Or perhaps I shall turn around and you can magic missile my back, Master. <laughs> no, it doesn't. Uh, what kind of game is this, guys? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> no, 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 no. Um. <laughs> you do not deserve punishment, says Beauregard. No. How about stay in the bath for a couple of hours till your skin's all wrinkly and pruny? Ah, yes, Master. That is a suitable punishment. And then you can pour salt in the wrinkles. <laughs> we'll discuss that after the bath. <laughs> okay, Iggy. Make sure that the bath water is cold because he doesn't deserve warm water. Good enough. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Iggy does not catch a cold. Uh, we don't pour salt in the in the wrinkles. <laughs> it just seems weird. So there's lots of chafing. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, the regulars at the at the tavern do sort of mingle with the people that you've brought. Okay. Um, some of the regulars are also asking if they can go to Defender's Heart as well. Yes. The gnome proprietor so, so yes. doesn't seem to mind, maybe? He's losing some of his patrons, but... Uh, once we <clears throat> treat with Xenophon, I'm certain there will be more business from this district. I shall remain, says the gnome. 
Is there anything that you need specifically? I am... Well, yes. Um... Burke, Drac, and I will remain here. Uh, I have a list of things. You can let people know that the Drunken Monk is open for business. And any of those that wish to, um, barter or treat with those of Saintsboro, they do pay for recovered holy symbols and the like of any of the saints. I can arrange such How much things. do they pay for, for holy symbols? Um... A decent amount. How much do you pay for holy symbols? A decent amount. You're pretty sure he wants to act as the middleman. Yeah. <laughs> Drac is the you know it, gonna, Drac six fingers. Uh, sorry, Drac the tief the drunk tiefling is going to stay, and apparently Burke has been convinced to stay. Pretty much when the gnome says for Burke to do something, he doesn't. Okay. But Darna, the burn victim, Varus with the missing arm, Thumbs, the fumbling, and Krasa with the dot all want to go to um, uh, Defender Center. Sure. There's rules for everyone. He's looking at the fumbling. He's trying to think to himself it. A roll for the fumbling guy. <laughs> oh, this might be a good safe he, cracker. He, he kind of settles on like wizard's helper. Yep, like mage helper. They can practice magic on you. <laughs> that will be a roll in the new future. <laughs> huh. What else causes him to burn? Weird. <laughs> And the people that you rescued can't wait to get to Defender's Heart. Like, they, there's no... The ones that were humming and hawing have already remained behind. These people are yeah, convinced the, the that... Hum, the hummers and the hires. Now, does anybody know what happened to these kids? Mamas and Papa? The story likely ends poorly. Nope. Um, one of the... One of the uh, the survivors that you rescued just kind of went like, gave you this face like you shouldn't expect a happy outcome. There are other children at Defender's Heart. Okay. At this point, you're their blue savior. You're their. It's a blue baby. It's a blue Jesus. What yeah, you're you're their, you're their blue knight in shining armor. Woo. Uh, that and they know, like, even, like, there are probably, like, stories that you ch tell young children about the silver dragons that rule over the kingdom. The like sovereigns. The, the sovereigns. The, so, the king dragon peoples. That... So, um, you are the fairy tale and quite real king in their minds. Okay, I think we, we rest. Um, I think we're going to move them to Defender's Heart after we treat with the temple on the morrow. Okay, you get a couple of them um, asking if we can go to Defender's Heart first. And, and actually a few of them that are warning, you shouldn't go back. How long would it take to get to the temple? To the Defender's Heart, you mean? Yeah, to, sorry, to Defender's Heart, yeah. You could probably go there and back, and it would be evening. Like, it would be later in the afternoon, if you left first thing in the morning. Okay. I think we'll we'll do that. Okay. Um, for, for the morrow's festivities. Because we said we'll be back tomorrow, didn't say when. Um, I, well, we're going to have to deal... We're, if we're going to come back in the evening, if we return in the evening, likely the demons will start attacking. And we've, de we've depleted their forces... We will, late. we will help defend right, if we, we do not hurry. have time. Why don't we... Are we going to try to stop the... destroy the demons on this day? Why don't we do it before we leave? Uh, 
Vintarn doesn't want to say why uh, the people are not around us right now. You can you can step yeah, outside. Yeah, this is just to us. This we'll is step to outside. Us. And what if we die? <laughs> not a problem. Uh, it is a problem when you die. Stupid dragon. He doesn't know anything. <laughs> That's why. <lying. laughs> Stupid chase. <laughs> <laughs> or he's just talking his nonsense. Yep. It is... There are children among them. We can escort them first thing in the morning to, in the morning to defend his heart. Alternately, we could send word, but some of those districts are still disagreeable. Right. All right, for their sake, then. We'll have to hurry. What, uh, ask as we ask the people, or we know we know what time the demons usually attack. Uh, do you think we'll be back before they attack? Yeah, it's evening. Or like, or... yeah, they attack in the evening. We'll be back in the late afternoon. Okay. So, okay. So Let's... we'll have at, at least four or five hours before they attack. We'll leave in the morning. Okay. First thing I'll, in the morning, then we'll let uh, kids ride the ride uh, Oregard. You guys are able to make it back if you follow the same route. Uh, you're able to make it back uh, in about four hours. Okay. Picking your way through the ruins. Uh, avoiding that big spider. Yep. Helping people climb. Um, <sighs> it probably takes you probably use up all the levitates out of uh, uh, out, out of the Terendellas. Yeah, yeah. Terendellas uh, scale, um, and you're able to move people quickly and successfully back to Defender's Heart. Okay. Um. From Defender's Heart, what do you, did you want to do? From Defender's Heart. Uh, we introduce the children to the other children. Yeah, yeah. Then Can we make an up, make a report. Are you making a report? I uh, see the It's kind of like, should we talk to? I don't know if we should. Uh... Ventarin wants to talk to uh, Hadrian or to the lady. One of the two. Okay. Give me a D2. The orc, the orc commander? Yeah. Orc commander. We made contact with the Give me a, D, a D2 to see who's around. Oh, D2, sorry. Two. Hadrian's around. You're back. How did you, how did it fare? Who, who, and who's talking to Hadrian? Uh, Ventarn. <laughs> Elton, Elton just looks at, uh, Elton just looks at Ventarn and goes, Story's all yours. It's Elden and Ventarn. <laughs> okay. So, but Elden's there, right? Okay. Yep. Yeah, Elden's there. There are persistent demon attacks against the temple. Um, they also were under the influence of outsiders. Um, they were harming the people. Um, we brought survivors. We will be returning today to negotiate. And also to help destroy the demons, the demon swarms that attack them nightly. Still unknown why they let them continue. Uh, we'll go and take care of them so it's no longer a threat. And are they willing to join our cause? That is yet to be seen, uh, but they do seem amicable. Okay. You're very optimistic. <laughs> <laughs> he is hoping. With the outsider's influence removed, uh, I do believe there will at least not be cross-purposes. I look forward to a more detailed report, but for now I've got my hands full with things into the south. 
we need this we need this neighborhood to no longer be a problem or at least to start pulling its weight there are a couple of hot zones that I, I do not want you to go into one there are strange reports that are coming out of the old um, arena to the north you had seen like severed heads and weapons yep. and while yeah, the fighting may have subsided there may be a greater demon that comes back there every once in a while to lord over its prey. It is not of strategic influence. The South is a greater problem. There is a great buffalo demon thing that is called out by the others, and they are definitely, how did you put it, cross-purpose. But still... What worries me the most is the coming of, of, of the witch. The one that started this all long ago. The one that pierced the veil between the plains. The one who is responsible. The one who has become a demon herself. Once we have dealt with the temple. I have managed to gather from the crafting of our revered head librarian that the thing that he is creating might be a weapon of sorts. If I would know more about it, and it's my understanding that we must bring that thing to the place where they're congregating. He points at the, the center, the center district, the old, the old district. Uh, yeah. the mu the museum turned or sorry the uh, the old citadel turned museum <laughs> now turned back into citadel uh, yeah it is there are many things that are not easily understood but weapons are simple do not tarry long You are needed elsewhere. Did Elden have anything he wants to say to Hadrian before we just sort of slide out of the room? Okay, you do notice he goes over to a chalk slate and he wipes out some previous master's name and in the hierarchy he knows about Xenophon and Xenophon's now at the top. Go. Okay. It's like Elden wants to get back so that yep. he can deal with the demons before. Go. Go, uh, go back to the temple. Okay. Um, I think uh, just as a because we're gonna have there's definitely gonna be a de at least a demon fight in there and there might be something before then. Uh, maybe we want to do that for next uh, next yep. time. Or... Yeah, I think I think that's a good a good place to leave it. Um, next bad time, next bad channel. Yeah, given that it's uh, one a.m. on a on a school night where you guys are. Yeah. Uh, so how close are we to leveling? You? Three <laughs> three grand. It is not begging range. Three grand in a week worth of time. Yep. Three grand. So we go kill those demons. And We've got these things we up. need you to do right now. Now, damn it, now. Okay. Could I just do crunches in the quarter for a week? <laughs> <laughs> no, he he knows that yeah. you know you guys are going to need time to rest between missions. A week is not that yeah. bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's just basically you look at the map of the city and the southern the southern district is it's basically got a big red a, a big red circle around it. Like yeah. th this is not under their control, and it's still a yeah, significant we, portion of the city. If, if he talked to five, five would be like, "Oh yeah, I saw him. He's bad. We don't go there. No, right." No, we don't go there. That's why Hadrian's that's... saying let's let's solve the the crap in the north, and then there's like a dot next to the crap in the north where the old uh, where the old um, the uh, arena, arena was. Is. Yeah. yeah, and and he's yeah, like yeah. just just don't go there for now. We'll deal with that later. It's yeah, worthless. Okay, well no, a, vorp, a big vorpal axe would be cool. Just saying. Although what we need to do. So this is okay. I know that I know this is a complete aside, and I apologize to anybody who's not familiar. Next demon that we face in the other campaign with his vorpal dancing, whatever, Uker's going to tear the demon's arm off. 
and see if he wears the arm like an arm on his arm, like a like a glove on his arm, if the magic still works on the big axe. <laughs> How much demon do you need to keep for the magic to work? Can I just, excuse me? <laughs> Make a demon glove to He's hold on to the axe. Ah! <laughs> That's awesome. Um, maybe, maybe you should get like an actual crafter to, to kind of pull to, that to shit off. So, uh, well, now that you have the bits, give it to a crafter. Yep. Yeah. Now, is that considered a weapon or an item? It's It's probably considered somewhat... Evil armor? and potentially chaotic. We'll go with those two descriptors. <laughs> but researching how do we capture the uh, a vorpal weapon from one of those demons without it disappearing? Super axe. Yeah. yeah. Um, most some of those monsters basically when they pick up a weapon, it be, it, it bestows just the property. It needs to be. Yeah. To keep the battleground from being littered with you know plus six plus ten weapons or whatever. But, yeah. Yeah. It's it's a, it's a very it's a very cool uh, method. I, I did not know how you guys were going to um, like handle the lawful beings. Uh, it was interesting how you guys handled it. I, I, I thought they were going to get off much worse. Like I thought there was going to be punishment and like, yeah, spankings all around. Spankings all around. It's they had so much treasure. It, they have it. So dude, to be honest, it dude, pants had Ventarin carried his own suit of armor and cloak. And bastard sword and shield, like that guy had all of his gear. He carried it all upstairs and then left it there. And yeah. he was a big fat ass too, with three hundred pounds. He's like, <laughs> yeah, it, it yeah. They, make they've sense claimed a district be. worth of wealth, um, yep. and and they were a major temple before the fall. So yeah. they still yeah. had some artifacts left over from from before. Yep. No, they, they've they've got some stuff, but we need. We need capable allies more than we need their treasure. I don't know. I'd, I'd rather survive and fuck everybody else, you know? <laughs> if... <laughs> Sorry, I may have played a chaotic character or something. <laughs> <laughs> if... But in terms of, like, long-term planning... Yeah, yeah, no, no. I, if I, they I, end up not yeah. being allies and a pain in that, like... And still doing the bad thing. If, if We've got turn demons on to us, kill. What are you going to do? Torture civilians. If, if they wait, 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 what? Yeah, if they don't torture, start pulling their way. Torture is before <laughs> demons in the hierarchy of things to do. If if they don't start pulling their way, we're going to use. We're going to go get their gear. <laughs> Just going to show up, smack them upside the head, take their stuff. You, you know what? One day I want you guys to do. I want you guys to play the lawful neutral characters. The ones that just go batshit crazy, lawful neutral. Just, it's order. the organization, it's order! <laughs> Where are your papers? Because it says to do so in the manual. Where are your papers? Right. You don't have a third and a half stamp. <laughs> just impose your own zany version of, of order the and law upon the multi law. multiverse. I think, well, yeah, there's definitely some potential to play that. For me, I think the... the um, the Birdman I have planned, Taka, is kind of the uh, okay, but but that's an evil character because I don't know. Yeah, for those that kind of tune in uh, to to Legends, so we we have Marty does planning for campaigns like at least the seeds of which like a year long in time like long time in advance. It's not that I'm like crafting the whole campaign. I'm more like like coming up with the idea or the concept. We've been tossing around the idea of playing an all neutral party. That kind of is unscrupulous, like unscrupulous <laughs> bastards oh, of, of be uh, fun. and we're gonna place so them fun. in the Legends universe, the multiverse, which Demon Watch is also a part of. If you've noticed last few, yes. last few games in Legends, I've made references to um, Avoros and we World. saw Sovereign yep. like a year ago, and we said, Fuck nah. out. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, just, nah. Fuck out of here. <laughs> Yeah, you, you you encountered a silver dragon, and you just went, eh, fuck off. <laughs> I'm like, oh, okay, fine. They don't wanna. They wanna. Um, but I could really use. We could really use that out. <laughs> yeah. Well, right now, now, how does the timeline kind of match up? Is an interesting question between Demon Watch and and Legends, and then how does time match up? Could even be 